Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today we're going to be playing some Knight's Chronicle. Apparently they finally had their new update that's supposed to change a lot of things. And they're giving us a double R costume available once we finish the um, Epic Quest. So this is basically aimed towards the main characters. Obviously this should have been here for the start of the game, just saying. But let's see the updates. Character growth selection. Oh. Added in the codex, I have a lot of characters I need to go in there and see. New characters, new costumes. Boy Tower has been improved and staged up. I we need we need to go see that. Then there's the whole penalty stuff system. Ugh. Ugh. This why? Yeah, that's gonna be annoying. Then your max level has been increased. I don't think they've done the merge yet. We have two new characters. They'll all be in the separate banner, I believe. To be honest, I haven't been logging on doing my dailies either. So, yeah, that's another thing. <laughs> I will take a look at them. But yeah, we did get this stuff for free. Yeah, I forgot you can't collect that. Alright, we got Theo. Let's see. I would do a banner for you guys, but I don't think I can. But we'll go for here. Let's see. Growth. Um... These characters have to reach level 50. First off, did you clear my... Um... I'm pretty sure some of these characters I have that are already... 10. I mean, uh, level 50. Because I know Britain is... Because I know Britain is a uh, definitely a level. I know my Chris is too. So why aren't these places lighting up or anything? But you're asking for a lot of units. Like, jeez. All three of these are 50. Just saying, all three of these are 50. You want them to be level 60? You insane madman. How dare you? Put me through that suffering. Yeah, to be level 60. Jesus Christ, you got you guys want me to do a lot. <laughs> Not that I minded or anything. Who the hell is she? Nah, she looks pretty cool. Alright. Dude, I thought this was Are you kidding me? Wait, what? Ah, oh, okay. I see. Alright, let's look at them more things. Epic quest. I was actually not trying to do this. I was just going to see what was going on with it. Wait, what? I swear to God.
Okay, fuck off. Uh, let's see. Quest. Wait, hold on. So it does look like I have forced break with Theo. Which is a good thing. But I have Theo's in my party. From what I see, it doesn't seem I have to bring him. So you can buy the deluxe, but you still have to do all the quests, basically. And all of them are easy, easy stages, what it seems. You're just going through places on a map. Nothing special. Not, well, nothing really new. Let's just say that. I thought there were going to be like special new stages, but nah, they're still going off the map for some reason. I just want to see how much damage I can do you. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I thought you were going to take me back to the screen, but alright. What? Whatever game. I was really hoping you were taking me back to the epic quest, but <laughs> all right. All right, so is that reward out of the way? I can't go back. Or I think you would buy it and it would give you the rewards automatically. But one thing, fam. God damn, that's a lot for epic quest. All right, so you would complete this and get that. Let's try the war zone and see how it is. Oh, so you have to complete the first one to get up to the next one. Are there any, like, buffs I need to know about? No? Okay, that Seems like I could just go in with normal units for, for now. We're gonna, we're gonna see how it is. Oh my god, it's a slithery snake. <sighs> this guy again. Your chump damage. Um, let's kill you. Or at least get that out of the way. Alright, can I rip that off? Okay, nah. Just shaking. I still don't know if I'm clicking on him, but alright. I could just imagine that being really strong, like later on. Recollection? Okay, that's not, that's something I'm confused about. Recollection. What the hell is recollection? Also, I want to see if there is the awakening place to where you can see like his skills and everything. That should be pretty cool. No? You didn't put in like an epic quest book? 
at all? <laughs> Guys. All right, I don't understand why don't you just put in the epic quest book with all the stats and everything. But, okay. So we got three new characters. So I'm guessing one of these are a new dungeon. Alright, what is your leader? Your leader is increased crit damage on fires. Oh yeah, we normally go through the skills first. Inflicts damage on one target and increases the caster's attack. Well, crit damage for two turns. Stacks twice. That could be pretty dangerous. Yeah, that could definitely be dangerous. Alright. Skill 2. Inflict damage on one target. Decreases their turn speed. Okay. Not bad. Third skill. Penetration damage. Does damage to one target and disable the target's adjacent. Disable decreases the attack speed. Okay. Well, hmm. That's for like five turns too. That it, I can actually be pretty good. So it seems like she's a single target nuker. But first passive has a chance of casting weakness reveal for one turn when there is three or more opponents. Okay, okay so that works off this. But she would still want to build a little crit for when there is like one or two left because after that I'm guessing that's not going to be a thing well is it I think it hold up let me just keep reading 30% chance for the same effect to happen on enemies with the lowest HP yeah that 30% chance could eh eh if we know anything, that 30% chance is like a Russian roulette wheel trying to get it. So I guess that would not really be the best. So I would still personally put crit on it, just in case. Especially if it's not like the lowest target I want to kill or ch chop down. But yeah. Alright, so we have for level 60, removes all buffs from enemies with the lowest, well, hold up. Oh, HP lower than a caster. So you would actually want to build HP on her too. Now if it was higher than, I would skip HP, but since it's lower than, yeah, I would want to go into HP. <laughs> 100% chance to decrease the healing for two seconds. That's pretty much a disable heal with so 100% chance upon a crit strike. Okay, PvP character. Nah, this. Yep, straight up PvP after that. I mean, obviously it's PvP after they're seeing disabled, but still. So she is using like um toffs, but like blade versions. All right, Miss Victory Slash over here. <laughs> All right, that wasn't that bad. That was actually pretty cool. Am I probably gonna summon for these characters? Probably not. <laughs> But considering them, they're probably going to try and force us to, considering that all their new dungeons have like special mechanic for all the new characters that come in. So, yeah. All right. Oh, hold up. All right. Margaret, you're going you're gonna to have to chill with that uh, passive. Oh, yeah, you're definitely going to have to chill with that passive. Uh, 60% damage for all units. 
burst attack decreases skill cap. Okay, the first attack penetrates a target and has a 40% chance of decreasing skill count by one turn. So she's basically like a um, ruby in a way? Or is that increased skill count? Uh, skill cooldowns. Yeah, uh, I think that's for her. So that's probably like a ruby. Like a better ruby right now. Penetrates to one target. Has a 40% chance of casting brand on the target. Um... Third skill inflicts damage that defense ignores all targets gain executioner for three turns. Okay, let's see what's up with executioner. Oh, oh, hold up. That's a lot of blue text. Increases the damage dealt to enemies with damage decrease buffs by 200%. What? So it's basically like your tanks just procking their um, attack downs and her just nuking off of it. Decreases damage taken by 30% and decreases all enemies recovery by 100. God, let this be an avid character. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Recovers 50% HP by landing a crit. 100% chance of decreasing cooldown on skills. So she's just going to be pretty much a straight up OPS nuker. Increases crit chance by 40, accuracy by 40 when has execution. This character's retarded, but I love her. I actually like her design a little bit. Wait, is she like a Iron Maiden type character? Yep, I figured. She's literally an executioner. I fucking love her, because I love executioners. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. And this is the avid character, must be. Yeah, I like your final one. These, well, I like the green one a little bit. The rest of them are actually decent. Alright, what's this? Increases damage dealt with damage over time. Um, no, please don't let there be fucking damage over time in this advent. I swear to God, game, come on. All right. It's one target causes shock. All right, so it seems like we're gonna be dealing with shock damage just out of the dungeon. That sounds like fun. All right, deal damage to two targets causes jolt. Jolt inflicts equal up to 80% of the attacker's attack and shock the target when removed. Okay. That is that just sounds very, very annoying. Alright. Third skill inflicts penetration damage. The three targets has a chance to shock. For two turns, it inflicts additional damage if the target Oh if there are two more targets. Oh, that's, that just plain sucks then. Huh. A whole win team we're gonna have to make. Which, oh, not even win team, it's a light team. A whole dark team I'm gonna have to make. <laughs> Hopefully Ashley can carry me through the whole dun dungeon, you know? <laughs> uh, how much you wanna bet Ashley's band? Inflicts 30% additional damage when 
attacking targets with damage over time. Crit is guaranteed when attacking somebody with Jolt. Okay, good to know. Level 60 passive. Acquires battle boost device at the start of the turn. If battle boost device is activated at the start of the turn, one Jolt enemy to inflict Jolt's one enemy to inflict additional damage. Consume battle boost eyes to re to revive. Oh my God, no! Another reviving dungeon for fuck's sake. Has anybody said anything about this yet? Oh, Kali's still easy to kill. Tank is useless. Figured. Wait, somebody already said something about Ashley. Hold up. <laughs> uh, I went in there. Ah, oh, my golly, he's not that good. But let's see the skills. She throws a wrench at me? That's rude. Okay. Let's get this little small summon out of the way. What's funny, I can't treat other characters as food anymore. Especially since we have the table thing. <laughs> I don't think people have realized that yet. Is the fact that you can't treat everything as food anymore. <sighs> Alright. So we went over those characters. Let's go see what's up with this advent. Actually, let's see what's up with tower rewards. That's what I want to see. Wait, what? That just... Somehow I went to tower? Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. Okay. See, that's a lot better for tower rewards. Oh, today's darks? Yeah. So you want to bring a light team? I like that idea. Eh. On the badges. It's alright. Nothing is like seriously drive me through this though. <laughs> Goddamn hiccup, stop it. So you receive the rewards of all the characters. Well, all the um, elements. They're all just the same, to be honest. They're not going to change any. Alright, so, so far this update's actually pretty decent. Let's just go see that happen and see what's up. Ah, she's back. Ah, Lily. Oh my god. <laughs> Rip Callie. If I had this character, that'd be... That'd be fun. But we thankfully we probably have a friend that's carrying one, you know. Hmm. 
I'm gonna bring you instead. Let's bring Sid. She's a dark unit, right? Yep. Ash is already built her. <laughs> I, I figured that Ash would probably be the first. But Ash is the only one right now. Spooky's still working on his. Alright. That means we just gotta get a good run with this. Not sure if I want to move you to the front or the back, though. Game, don't you do it. I always like to change out my characters each time I do that. Which is still annoying. Idea which ones are the most dangerous at this point. trying to kill Marg now. Are you kidding me? Alright, so thankfully she got it. It definitely seems like Ashley is pretty made for this, too. Alright. Oh, it's you again. Ah, oh, thank you. You left the element thing on. But it's gone now, unfortunately. Dude, ah, damn, dude. Ashley is actually really good for this.
That's just extra damage I don't need in my life. I was wondering. Okay, I was wondering how strong that shield was. Looked at it the first time, I was just like, hmm. Let's go ahead and heal um, Teo. Again, uh, this makes me seem <laughs> feel like I should have just brought a uh, root for this. Basically, dead. All right, so far, so good. We made it to three on the first try. Hold up, what is this? Alright, good thing I didn't bring any light units. I was thinking about actually bringing, um... Kurt <laughs> Kristen for this. Dear God, thank... Thank goodness I didn't do that. Oh, so you want to nuke them right away. So I want to take overturned then. Okay, so I pretty want to much want to kill one, so the rest of the team can do damage. Basically, what you're saying. Because right now I'm barely going to be doing damage to you. Actually, could be like a really easy dungeon, if anything. Because there it is again. I'm gonna throw that on. I'm gonna keep that just in case. There it is. So that. Alright, here comes the skill. Get all my HP back. That's exactly why I saved it. Hey, you don't have the effect on your fortune label. Like, what the hell? But it's on you, the wrong person. If I need that on. Huh. Hmm. I was hoping to taunt, but didn't get it. That sucks. Alright. Ooh, 
Really? You decide to stun Sid? Come the fuck on, dude. Well, Sid's dead. Just because of that BS. That's unfortunate. Dude, I could have had that too. But then, he started aggressively summoning like every other boss in the game. But yeah, I see how the dungeon works now. It's actually pretty easy. It's actually not uh, as difficult as Kali for sure. Shocker. But yeah, that dungeon was actually pretty interesting. Difficult? No. Interesting? Yeah. Doesn't seem like she has it happening yet. Lily, Lily doesn't either. Just got these normal difficulties. Nothing new. Ah. I'm honestly not sure if this update's gonna keep me playing though. I'm just going to be honest there. Because hmm. yeah, so I've been on the verge of actually just saying screw it and quitting the game as of late. Okay. I was about to say, my rewards still sitting in here from last week? They are. The rest of the stuff I gotta collect by hand for some reason, but you know. Alright, let's do that. Let's do one summon. Okay, why the hell did I go to shop? But I'll, let me check and see if there's anything new in here. Wait a minute. I was about to say, I don't remember you having a costume. Oh god, it's another twenty dollars. <laughs> Every day, I get more and more closer to quitting. I'm not spending twenty dollars on the skin. No matter how good it makes the character. Alright, where's the other characters that you threw in here? Cause I know, I know that's not it. Okay, whoops. Wait, is every last character just getting one skin? Okay, no. I was about to say, hold up. I didn't notice this at the bottom. Still the best skin they've made, but still not worth the money. I'm just making sure they didn't like sneak another one in. Oh, I've never seen this one. Looks weird. Looks very weird. Also, never seen this one. Not a huge fan, to be honest. Never seen this one. Monk Ellie. Are they going with some kind of Chinese theme here? I definitely haven't seen this one. God damn, Ashley, hold up. <laughs> Ashley has the best skins, in my personal opinion. 
really? Hey, let's just kill a thousand of our fans. <laughs> I don't know which one is my favorite so far. <laughs> Whoops. Um, totally didn't break it. Alright, we got one more. That's Kane. Eh. Eh, they're alright. Like I said, I'm giving him into the server merge. Once, once the merge goes through, then we'll see. Well, let's see what we get. Probably nothing good, but hey. Oh. Who is it? Oh, another mark? Ooh. I think that's plus, um... I think your third skill will be like two or three now. Oh, Mary. Okay, cool. Well, that's it. Oh, never mind. There's a third, apparently? Oh, Etika. I still have not gotten you. Um, is that it? Uh, I was about to say, boy, I swear to God, if you keep going. I will not complain. <laughs> nah, that's the first time I've gotten three of those in a row. Okay. I have a reason to carry Attica is just because I'm pretty sure she's just gonna cause a whole bunch of havoc all over the map, especially if you killed, like, the drones. Wait, at least I think that's how that works. I'm pretty sure it's as we kill opponents. We get emergency uh, response. So, since this is a boss that constantly summons mobs, Etika is like really good for this dungeon as a healer. And a stun upon allies' death is actually going to be pretty decent. But then again, yeah, the. You gotta keep the bots attacking you. Unfortunately. You can't use any characters that remove buffs or debuffs. Huh. Eh. Well guys, I'm gonna end it there and that's pretty much the update. Uh, I don't see any need to go further. But yeah, once the merge goes through, then I'll give you guys an update on if I'm quitting or not. But until then, uh, I guess we will have to see. So until then, peace out. Just keep pushing through You're what you got to lose You're what you got to lose You're what you got to lose Just keep pushing through Cause what you got to lose